found in one place, on their back. From books and notebooks to pencils and other school supplies, it all gets toted around in a backpack. But all that stuff can really add up in weight, says Dr. David Marshall, medical director of sports medicine at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. We're starting to see more and more back pain complaints in the doctors in the sports medicine offices. And the question is, is there a correlation between uh, backpacks and, and back pain? Marshall is demonstrating how he advises his own daughter to properly wear hers. The way she has adjusted now, it's way too low. The weight of the backpack should never be any lower than the waistline. So the straps need to be adjusted so the, so the backpack fits high up on her shoulders. The shoulder straps need to be two of them, not just one. And also they need to be wide and padded. He recommends the use of an abdominal strap. That will also help redistribute the load evenly across the child's back and not have the effect of 10 pounds pulling back on their on their shoulders then. Experts recommend these bags not weigh more than about 10 to 15 percent of the student's body weight, also so that the child does not fall or bump into another student. If that's not feasible, you may want to purchase a rolling backpack. For today's Health Minute, I'm Carl.